Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute just listen today. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a school called Medway. West of a flour mill, born and raised on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all chilling while throwing the football beside the hill. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood, I got one suspension from my mom to say, Better get your butt back into my way. I waved down the bus, and when it came near, the license plates had passed her and the cows in the mirror. If anything, it looked more like a John Deere, but I thought, nah, forget it, yo, Holmes, take me here. I pulled up to the school about seven or eight and I yelled to the driver, yo home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I can finally say, and sit on my throne as the Prince of Medway. Good morning, Medway. It's Friday, March 4th, and I'm Rob. And I'm Justin, and welcome to another edition of MTV, Medway's number one television show. Today is the last day to order spirit wear. Pick up an order form on the announcement board or outside the gym and return it to Ms. Radforth in Science by the end of today. Samples will be available to try on in the cafeteria. While Medway was enjoying a snow day, one of our students was competing in OFSA for wrestling. Curtis has the story. Hi, Medway. I'm Curtis. And his name is Colton. And we're here to talk to him about him being the only Medway wrestler to qualify for OFSA. So, Colton, congrats on getting to OFSA. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, quite the experience. It's, uh, this year, it's my grade 9 year. Most of the guys I fight is in grade 12, so for me to go to OFSA, it's a big accomplishment. Definitely sounds like it. So, what weight category? Fighting the big guys. So that would be 183 to 185 pounds, I presume? Yes, yeah, yeah. Very nice, very nice indeed. You said yourself you're fighting guys older than you. Where do you hope to place an OFSA? Go for the goal. I'm just going to go in there, put on a show for all the people coming to, coming to watch. Even if I finish 20th out of the 36, still 20th in Ontario, so I'll be happy either way. Uh, yeah, that's, I'm, going, I'm going for number one, though. I'll always go for number one. So there's always nerves involved, so I'm used to it. I use the nerves to my advantage and uh, kick some butt in the meantime. Very nice, very nice indeed. We've got a new program in my way, and we encourage anyone for next year, come on out, try it out. Girls, guys, everyone, get out there and uh, let's wrestle. And finally, just where is OFSA and when is it going to be taking place? Uh, it's in Windsor at the arena where the uh, Spitfires and the uh, Windsor Express play. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, and back to you, MTV. This is a reminder to the girls' hockey team that there will be an important meeting in room 176 at junior lunch today. Do you want to play girls' rugby? Tryouts continue next Monday and new players are still welcome to come out. See the sports board or Ms. Murphy for more information. Attention best buddies, if you do not complete if you did not come to the meeting in room two oh two yesterday, it is imperative that you come today at the beginning of junior or senior lunch. We have important information to share and a special offer for you. Thank you for making this a priority day. A while back, MTV gave you some information about the new athletic banquet format. Back by popular demand, here's a recap of that information. The Athletic Awards Night is going to be Thursday, June 9th. We're, we're actually going to start at 5.30. All athletes are invited. However, we're trying to offer more of an incentive for all of our athletes to come, not just award winners. So we're going to offer up an award for the team that has the most amount of athletes here at the awards night. This year what's different is we're offering a catered dinner starting at 5.30. It's going to be outside of the cafeteria. Let's hope for good weather because we're hoping to have a bit of a barbecue theme going. So it'll be a really good catered dinner. All athletes and parents are invited to uh, attend not only the dinner but the awards night as well. So there you have it. Thursday, June 9th. Save the date. We'll have a special guest there. Uh, thank you and back to you MTV. Attention junior boys badminton players. There will be a tryout Monday, March 7th from 3.45 to 5. Please make sure your parents filled out the registration forms online before attending. These forms are in a folder on the bulletin board outside the gym. The next girls tryout will be Tuesday, March 8th from 2.30 to 3.45. Please see Miss Porridge, oh sorry, Miss Norridge in room 207 if you have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> Computer network sp space is running low again. Please log in and remove any unnecessary files in order to make more space. Attention SAA members, 
The Spirit Wear demo table volunteers for today are Junior Lunch, Keegan, Justin, and David. Senior Lunch, Quinn, Jordan, Braden, and Zoe. Also, please bring your cowboy quiz person or people to the room 127 today at lunch for their picture and info. Now we will be creating the quiz after March break. <laughs> now here's another edition of Medway's Unwritten Rules. You know what really grinds my gears? I'm sitting there in first or second period class, and I'm like, oh, just had this extra large coffee because I'm having a bad morning. Get up to go to the washroom, walk over to the bathroom, and it's closed due to vandalism. And then I walk down the hall to the other bathroom, and it's closed too. When I'm getting my workout on and pumping the air and feeling the burn, and then I go to the washroom, and it's closed. And then when I do go in, there's chewing tobacco. You know what's really great? When you defecate in the urinal. So I walk to the other side of the school, and it's closed too. I just can't go. What am I supposed to do with myself? When you walk into the washroom and there's pee all over the floor. When I go to type and the keyboard, all of the keys are changed. You know what's really great? When you slam the keys so hard that no one else can use them. Yes, my username has three M's in it, but no, I can't use them. When someone presses the space bar and I didn't even see it. I'm sitting in the computer lab and I want to use the computer mouse and then it just stops working on me. We have some really talented artists in this school. But when it's time to write on desks, I think we need to save that for the paper. There's no reason to write on desks. There's no reason to cause vandalism and crimes. Keep your art to yourself and on your own paper. When I'm in the computer lab and I go to type in my username and someone already put username in there. Anyone who has signed up for co-op this year, next year, must submit their application ASAP. Attention all Techway members. We will meet next Wednesday, March 9th at 2.30 in the pack. If you're interested in joining Medway's light and sound crew, please come out Wednesday. New members are always welcome. Students, if you brought your signed permission form and $10, you can sign up for the fan bus. First come, first serve on your lunch. There are spots held for both junior and senior lunch. So please make sure you show up at your lunch. Probably said lunch like 30 times <laughs> there. Uh, grade 9 band will rehearse at lunch today. That's grade 9 band right at the beginning of lunch. Now here's some information on Medway's Youth for Social Justice's bake sale happening next week. Hello and welcome to Between Two Centerpieces. I'm here with the president of Youth for Social Justice, Justin O'Reilly. Uh, hi Justin. Hi, thank you for having me. So what is Youth for Social Justice? Uh, Youth for Social Justice is a Medway club. We meet about once a month and we just talk about different social issues uh, and we usually hold a fundraiser. Like what? Uh, so this month we're having a bake sale and we're wearing purple to show support for women in our life. Um, it's International Women's Day on March 8th, so we're going to raise some money and donate it to my sister's place. It's a uh, <laughs> women's shelter group in downtown London uh, and they just help kind of support women to get them back on their feet after um, abuse or whatnot. So when is the bake sale? Uh, the bake, bake sale is going to be at both lunches during March 8th. So just like bring toonies and stuff? Yeah, so yeah, everything is going to be $2 or less at the bake sale. So bring your toonies and change and we'll make sure to get you a bake good. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. And that's all for your announcements for today, Medway. Thanks for tuning into MTV and have a great weekend.